once again good morning transformers bless the name of the lord for today for his mercies are new every morning great is faithfulness as we begin let us turn in prayer and god will bless us together mighty and everlasting father thank you for this morning the day that you have given unto us thank you for those who have tuned in for those who are viewing i declare blessings in their life in the name of jesus christ may you guide us may you lead us as we share your word jehovah king of glory may your word bring transformation may the word bring my father life may the word my father bring blessings in our life i thank you and i bless you for i pray this believing and trusting in jesus mighty name amen once again i welcome you today and we thank god for seeing us through for you to see this day it is a blessing from the lord and we want to thank god because he is faithful no matter the situation the lord is faithful and he will be able to see us through he has given us this day meaning that he loves us so we have been looking at the uh, throughout the, the scriptures and we have been saying we need to abide by Christ by his word by obedience by loving and more so loving God and loving also others and as we abide we need to draw near to him we need to draw near to him and today let us read the book of John chapter 15 verse 6 and you see the what the word of god says in john 15 verse 6 the bible says if anyone does not abide in me he is cast out as a branch and is withered and they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned so this morning we want to look and drawing near to God for us God to bless us we need to draw near to him we look in the book of Luke chapter 5 from verse 1 up to 5 we see if Jesus had not drawn near to G, uh, if Peter had not drawn near to Jesus then he could not have experienced the great catch so this morning we need to draw near to Jesus there is nothing that each one of us can do outside Christ and succeed yes you may say i have succeeded i'm and i'm not in Christ then i want to tell you that the success it is just for a period of time it is just for a period of time but if you are in Christ Jesus you have drawn near to Christ you have come near to him then that success is eternal it is eternal peter for a great catch he had to be where jesus was in verse 1 we saw jesus borrowing the boat verse 1 2 there and he start teaching the word of god so i know peter had an interest to listen to jesus So this morning the Lord is calling us that we need each and every hour each and every day each and every minute we need to draw near to him And we see when Peter drew near to Jesus he was noticed yes he was noticed and that's why Jesus chose to use Peter's boat And I want to tell you as we continue drawing near to Jesus you will be noticed in whatever business you are doing Jesus will notice it and he will send more customers in that job as you continue praying as you continue interceding Jesus will notice and promotion will come on your way in that family Jesus will notice as you continue drawing near to him then whatever you want it to happen that family the lord will do it unto you in john 
chapter 6 and verse 26 John 6:26 let's look at this scripture Jesus answered and said most assuredly I say to you you seek me not because you saw the signs but because you ate of the loaves and were filled do not labor for the food which perishes but for the food which endures to everlasting life which the son of man will give you because God the father has sent his seal on him verse 28 then they said to him what shall we do that we may work the works of God Jesus answered and said to them this is the work of God that you believe in him who sent who he sent therefore they said to him what sign will you perform then that we may see it and believe you what work will you do our father ate the manna in the desert as it is written he gave them bread from heaven to eat then Jesus said to them most assuredly I say to you Moses did not give you the bread from heaven but my father gives you the true bread from heaven for the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Then they said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger. And he who believes in me shall never thirst. If we continue drawing near to God, we saw the people who were following Jesus. They were following him not because of the word, not because of anything, because of what Jesus was providing. Let's not follow Jesus because of the blessing that he, you want him to bless you. Not because of the situation now that you are in. We need to draw near to Jesus because the Bible says in uh, John chapter, chapter 6 verse 35 that, as Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me, he who draws near to me, he who comes closer to me, he will shall never hunger. And who believes in me shall never thirst. As you continue drawing near to God, I tell you this morning, don't draw near to anything else. Don't go to fulfill your desire love in, in, in food, in other things. But Jesus is telling us that he who comes to me shall never hunger. He shall never thirst. He is the bread of life. Each and every day we need to draw near to him. The more we draw near to Christ, he will not only give us bread, but draw near to him because he is the giver of eternal life. James chapter 4 and verse 8, the Bible says, Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. That is in part A. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. The opposite of drawing near to uh, drawing is run away from God and he will run away from you. So for you to be able to be with God, for God to come closer to you, you need also to, be ca to come closer to him. So we need to draw near to God. And as he has promised, we will never thirst. We will never get hung uh, angry. Yes, we may have the physical hunger, the physical thirst, but the spiritual hunger will not have it when we draw near to him. The spiritual thirst will not have it when we draw near to him. Have you felt you are far from God? This is the time that you need to draw near to him. Just like a branch in the vine, it needs to remain there for refreshment. It needs to be abide there for it to produce fruit. Out of Christ you are dead. In Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5, Christ has promised us not to leave us. He said that I'll never leave you nor forsake you. 
it is upon us, maybe as we leave him. But he promises remain. He has promised not to leave us. So we need to be drawn near closer to him each and every day. A vine cannot remove its, uh, cannot remove its branches. I've never seen a, a, a vine or a tree cutting its own branch. It either it is cut or maybe unless the branch is disattached itself from the vine. Maybe through tribulation, when the storm comes, maybe that branch will break. When the tribulation comes, maybe that branch will break. But if it is strong enough, it is rooted enough, then it will be able to abide. So when the storms come, when the tribulation come, when evil come, we need to continue drawing near to God. We need to continue drawing near to God. Maybe you have tried something else. This morning I want to say, try Jesus. Try Jesus. He is the answer of everything. He is the answer to your problem. He is an answer to your, uh, to, to your situation. There is a Kiswahili song that uh, uh, it is normally sung, Mjaribu Yesu. The Kansanga sing, Jaribu Yesu. Anaweza. Yeye, Yesu ndiyo, dawa peke. So, we need to continue remaining in the vine. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12 and 13, the Bible says, Therefore, let him who thinks he stand, take heed, let he fall. Again, verse 13 says, no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. So we need to draw near to God. Because if we say that we are standing, we need to check ourselves lest we fall. And we need to check ourselves by continuing drawing near to Jesus. The more you draw near to Jesus, the more you need to draw again near to him and he will bless you. We need to examine ourselves this morning and look how are we standing. In Joel chapter 2 verse 13, we should render our hearts, not our garments. We find Jesus asking his disciples, to tarry in Jerusalem, that is in the book of Luke 20, uh, uh, 24 to 49. They tarry for the Holy Spirit. We need to remain in him. We need to seek Jesus. We need to seek the, the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And we will be able to be fruitful. We will be able to achieve more. We will be able to succeed. This morning I came to tell you, continue drawing near to Jesus. Yes. You say you have drawn near to Jesus and things are not working. Draw again near to him. Come closer. Have fellowship with him. Embrace yourself in him and God will bless you. Thank you. Shall we turn into prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you. Thank you for the viewers. Thank you for the transformers who are viewing Jehovah God. I pray this morning that my Father, Lord, as your word has said, that when we draw near to you, you will draw near to us. Jehovah God, may you continue helping us to draw near to you through the your word, through prayer, through the fellowship, Jehovah King of Glory, in the name of Jesus Christ. That King of Glory, you will be able to give us life. You will be able, my Father, to quench our thirst. You will be able to fill us in the name of Jesus. I thank you for this day. May you go ahead of us. May you bless us. May you open doors of opportunities, doors of blessing. May the healing come upon my Father, Lord, my viewers, those who are sick, those who are in bed sick, Jehovah God, may you see them through. I bless you and I thank you, for I pray this, believe and trust in, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.